going to call this meeting to order. As the, um, the counselor with the most time on council, I am the person who per, uh, opens the meeting um, until we elect officers. Um, just an announcement to everybody in the room that this is both this meeting is both uh, audio and video recorded. Um, and um, now we're going to call the meeting to order. Uh, let could we do a roll call? Sure. Or? Councilor Nash here. Councilor Thorpe present. Councilor Jarrett here. And Councilor Foster here. Okay, we're all here. And um, if, is there anybody from the public? There doesn't seem to be anybody here to speak to us today for our organizational meeting. Uh, so now we'll work uh, head on down to item number three, which is the election of the chair and vice chair for this committee. So, our, and the way it works is uh, we get, uh, I put out the call for nominations, people put forward names, uh, and if there's a second, then their name is uh, to be voted on. Um, there's another opportunity for more nominations. We can, I guess we can nominate each other, right? <laughs> All four. Um, can somebody nominate themselves? Oh, good question. I don't, I don't know, that would be unusual. Not aware it's precluded, but. Okay, and that, um, and so we'll, we'll deal with the chair and then we'll move on to the vice chair. So, are there any nominations from the floor for the role of chair? I'd like to make a nomination. I'd like to nominate Jim Nash for chair. Second. Okay. Um, are there any other nominations? Uh, is there, uh, do we vote now? Yeah. Okay. Um, doesn't the person say something? Okay. Well, as the nominee, I accept the nomination. Um, I know that Councillor Dwight here was nominated for uh, vice president at one point and immediately turned it down. So, um, so I accept the nomination and thank you. Um, and so now a, uh, a call for votes. Okay. Um, Councillor Thorpe. Jim Nash. Um, Councilor Foster. Yes. Councilor Jarrett. Councilor Nash. And Councilor Nash. Councilor, uh, Councilor Nash. Excuse me. My flight got in early, so I thought I could catch the meeting. Oh, wow. Hi there. I told you I wasn't going to be here. Well, the city services is over. We've oh. extended now into community resources. Oh, wait. <laughs> city services? I haven't it was this floor. Uh oh. Or oh, my gosh. Community God. resources. I'm so embarrassed. Oh, my mistake. It's so nice to see you, though. Welcome back. Get yeah, feel free to join I was, us. I was so fixated on um, getting, I probably should double check on my calendar, it says five. So they're always at four? Yes. Pretty sure. okay. Well, I missed it anyway. Anyway, enjoy. Oh. <laughs> Bye, Rachel. Bye. <laughs> All right. Um, okay. And now for the role of vice chair. Do we have any nominations? I nominate Alex Jarrett. Second. Okay. Um, are there any other nominations? Uh, I nominate John Thorpe. Second. <laughs> <laughs> I want to have a discussion. Yeah. <laughs> this is the only way to do that. So. <laughs> well, this is interesting. Okay. So, um, are there any other nominations? I nominate Karen Foster. Oh boy. All right, I'll second that. All right. This won't be a seven minute meeting. <laughs> okay, so uh, nominations are closed because there's no more candidates. And um, so uh, now uh, I, I guess that all of the nominees uh, should have a moment to speak uh, and um, about taking on that role. Um, the first person nominated was uh, Councillor Jarrett. Um, so why don't we have a moment to, you know, take a moment to speak about 
why you'd like to take on this role. Um, so I'm interested in serving as vice chair, um, bringing my experience, uh, I have extensive experience in consensus decision making through worker cooperative movements, both in my business pedal people, and then also in the wider worker cooperative movement in, in um, serving on the board of the Valley Alliance of Worker Cooperatives. And I'm also just interested in learning more about the leadership and um, in in council meetings and uh, moving, you know, ha learning, getting some experience in that process. Um, so those are some of my qualifications. And so I would be happy to have your vote. And would we discuss then after we give our each of us would give speeches, and then we could discuss because there would be time for discussion. Well, you know what? Let's see how this pans out. Okay. All right. So the next person nominated was Councillor Thorpe. Councillor Nash, I, no, I could be mistaken. Could I make a motion to withdraw my name for the nomination? Well, you 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 could do as Councillor Dwight did during the uh, city council mm -hmm. meeting for vice president, turn down the nomination. Right. I, I respectfully turn down the nomination. Okay. Um, and similar, I uh, respectfully decline in the previous city services meeting. Um, I became vice chair of that, and I'm really excited to take on leadership role and, and work toward that, um, but also mindful of, you know, keeping that, not taking on everything. Um, so I respectfully decline as well, though I appreciate the nomination. And I thank Councilor Jerry for the nomination. Boy, that straightened itself out. Always <laughs> 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 All right. Um, yeah, let's see. Um, all right. Uh, so is there any more discussion before we go to voting? Uh, yeah, I just wanted to, to um, bring up the issue of diversity among our leadership. And um, so I wanted to give... The Councillor Foster and I actually spoke ahead of time, but that was the limit of what we could do because we couldn't uh, speak with either of you before the meeting because that would have been uh, open meeting law violation. So we, um, uh, so wanting to just be thinking about, um, you know, the opening the leadership, and I also think J T would be a great leader of the of a uh, great vice chair. Um, that, but um, wanting to be mindful of who steps up and who feels confident in stepping up, and sometimes um, you know that can be someone uh, you know as a white man stepping up um, may feel easier to me than the other group. So I just wanted to be able to have a conversation about it. Um, I'm happy with the result uh, or the presumed result. Um, Thank you, Councillor Jericho, for bringing that to the committee's attention. Really appreciate that, and uh, I think as we go forward as a full council, city council would be great if we saw uh, a more diverse uh, audience participating in our local government. Uh, thank you. Mm -hmm. I'd like to echo Councillor Thurps' comments. I think, you know, being mindful of representation and opening that up to more participation um, is, is really valuable and something that we can all work toward as a group and as a larger council. Um, so uh, first I want to thank everybody for, because <laughs> when all three of you were nominated, I was like, oh my God, who am I going to pick? You're, you're all so qualified and so, um, it was kind of my worst nightmare, <laughs> but it did work its way out, and that, um, and that I uh, appreciate Councillor Jarrett being willing, willing to step up into the vice chair role, and that um, that uh, both of you would have been great as well. And you're you're going to have your opportunities, and that I also want to add that this discussion, this sensitivity that we're showing right here. It's part of what 
should be uh, the, the essence of community resources committee. So, uh, so thank you. Um, any more discussion? Okay, so uh, let's go to a uh, vote. The vote will, you will say the, the name of the counselor. I should have done that the first time. Um, and the nomination, the sole nomination right now is Councillor Jerry. Right. Councillor Nash. Councillor Jerry. Councillor Thorpe. Councillor Jarrett. Councillor Jarrett. Councillor Jarrett. And Councillor Foster. Councillor Jarrett. Okay. Um, all right. Cool. Congratulations. And, um, and congratulations to everybody else on the committee. Um, so, we have the minutes of the previous meeting. And um, that I've had a chance to review them. I believe I'm the only person. Hold it. I think somebody was else was at that meeting. I was at that. Meeting. Okay, and that um, and that uh, that usually, oftentimes people will, will abstain if they weren't at a meeting. But also that the the and Laura might correct me on this, but that um, if you believe that the the minutes are true and reflect what was ac accurately what was discussed in the meeting. You can vote yes or no to accept that. Um, I'm correct. That's that. what's been stated by Councilor Dwight a couple of times. Right. right. So that um, so the, the problem is if we have too many, if we just if we have two abstentions, then I don't think they pass. Correct. It takes a majority vote to pass. So I guess. Right. That. So we so <laughs> if you feel they're accurate, you know that. That's the standard we're aiming for. So, um, do we have a motion to approve the minutes? Motion to approve. Do I have a second? Second. And um, any discussion on the minutes? Oh, we should have saved that for then. Okay, um, let's do a roll call. Or no, let's just do a, a, a voice vote. Um, all in favor of accepting the minutes, say aye. 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 Any nays? Any abstentions? Okay. Minutes are accepted. Um, we have our 20, the item number five, the 2020 21 meeting schedule for community resources. Uh, that um, have people had a chance to look that over? Yes. Okay. And that, um, do I have a motion to? Um, to approve this meeting schedule. Make a motion. Do I have a second? Second. Okay. And any discussion on this? Um, April Jared. 20th, 2020, and April 19th, 2021 is Patriots Day, uh, which is a legal holiday in Massachusetts. Whoa. Oh, how did I miss that? Because you were using a regular calendar. Patriots Day only. <laughs> Okay. Uh, no, did you say April 20th, 2020? Yeah. April 21st, 2021? No. April 19th, 2020. Oh, the both of those dates. Okay. Um, They're both Patriots then? It's the third Monday in yeah. April, I believe. So. Um, I know, I know normally we uh, may reschedule these meetings as they get closer, but the right. April one was close enough. I thought that maybe we should find a new date then. Mm-hmm. Thoughts, Laura? Um, what do you guys usually do? If it, I don't know, the Tuesday asks. The, um, the fourth Tuesday is always reserved for a special meeting of the Finance Committee. So if, I know that date's available. I'm trying to think, you know, I don't necessarily know when Council Chambers is available. Um, uh, I wouldn't know, want to take a finance meeting in late April. Right. Because um, they might be talking about the budget. What about just the following Monday, the, the last Monday of April? That should be available. There's no subcommittee anyway. Now, I, I know I will be away on that Monday, um, but if the three of you can make that, then that works. But if we know someone else could, then find a different day. 
Well, what about right, April 20th? What does the 21st look like? I'm actually aware of the entire, that entire week, um, but it is the Transportation and Parking Commission, which counts on Oh, yeah. I'll be away that week as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. School vacation week. Yeah. All right, so... Um, you could always get the second Monday at 4, before the um, legislative matters, which means at 5. I don't know, Catholic right. Chambers is available. The 13th? Um, April. Yeah. The legislative. Question, right? So why don't we, why don't we go for that Alex's check in his calendar? So from 4 to 5 on April 13th? Yes. And what's at five that day? Legislative matters. All right. Um, so we, that's the one change that we have so far. Um, any other changes or do we want to? Should I put to be determined in for the April 19, 2021? Yeah, let's, yeah. I think that's fair, yes. Um, no need to change this now, but um, is there any interest in moving either of the July dates to an earlier point in the month? Um, our last city council meeting, I believe, is July 9th. Mm -hmm. So just in terms of if anyone, often people travel during July and August, so that it mm -hmm. makes more time without... Um, Would you like to uh, have that meeting? On the 13th, the same before the legislative meeting on the 13th at 4 o'clock? July 13th at 4 o'clock. Uh, that would work well for me. And we have council that week? Council is on the 9th, and it's the only one in July. But you said still after, if they want to refer something to you guys. And is there any conflicts in the schedule? Or the 13th mm -hmm. in July? Um, you mean like with the with other the meetings? Um, you, are you're, you're saying at four o'clock before four. legislative matters? Was that? Oh, so would be the same Monday? Yeah, yeah. No, there shouldn't be. That good. sounds good. Should we be doing motions for this? Ooh. She all would know. Yeah, been, yeah. Sure, right. thank you. <laughs> oh, hi. <laughs> I have a member of the public. Um, all right, so that's that's the other change. Uh, any other changes at this point? Okay, we already have a motion. We have two, and um, so. Could we have a vote to, um, any more discussion on this? I'm just going to sneeze away over here. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. All in, in favor of, of, of approving our uh, meeting schedule for the next two years with those two changes for Patriots Day in July, say aye. 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 Any no's? Any uh, abstentions? Okay. So that carries. Um, We have no items to refer to this committee. Um, under new business, um, I um, like to uh, briefly just open up the floor for people to throw out ideas for things they might want to discuss uh, in community resources over the next few months, over the year. And um, it's good to know things ahead of time so we can plan them. Uh, in terms of getting people in here. So um, I can share, um, there's my little list. Oh, I got kicked out. All right, well, I get back in. <laughs> uh, well, I can tell you that, uh, for example, uh, 
at an event last week, uh, Claire Higgins with Community Action requested an opportunity to come in and talk about the, the various programs that Community Action does in our community, and so we have a, an idea of the great work that they do. Um, I was also uh, recently, oh good, now it opened up. Um, I had a chance to meet with a, a member of the Housing Authority and also with the Director and um, know that housing is of interest to people as well. Oh, here. I am off track a little bit. All right, let me bring it. So, where did it go? So, from our rules, community, Committee on Community Resources. Jurisdiction, matters affecting the community, including economic development, local business, tourism, the environment, the arts, planning, zoning, sustainability, land use, housing and affordability, among others. So it's, 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 it's pretty wide open, and, um, and I think that's probably why you guys wanted to join this committee. Um, so are any other ideas as to who you might want to hear from? Um, so I'd be interested in, in, in under the economic development uh, jurisdiction, uh, inviting some people uh, from uh, cooperatives, whether they be consumer cooperatives, worker cooperatives, um, credit unions. There's a lot of different uh, businesses and um, organizations that support cooperatives. And I know with, for example, we've seen um, a business, Downtown Sounds, and now The Roost, um, are working to convert from, to a worker cooperative from a um, more conventional business. And I would love to, to explore how this city um, could support um, those conversions or the, those, the, that kind of uh, support. Um, many cities across the United States are putting significant resources into promoting cooperatives. And um, so that's, that's a suggestion. I don't have particular people, but um, I can think of a few um, organizations. The Cooperative Fund of New England, which is located here. Um, the ICA Group, which is the, a, also uh, located here in Northampton. There's a Valley Alliance of Cooperatives, um, of which Pebble People is a member, so I don't know if I need to disclose that. I'm not sure if there's any sense of, uh, of you know, if there's no kind of like, uh, yeah, I don't know, but I should disclose that. Um, so those those are some thoughts um, with regard to quantity. Councilor, I have nothing at this time as we move forward with more meetings. I'm sure we have. Thank you. Right. Thank you. Similarly, I'm going to spend some time thinking about this. This is quite a list. Um, and I have lots of questions, but they're not narrowed down yet into who and, and what. So I will reach out as that solidifies. Cool. Yeah. Right. Thank you. All right. Um, is there? All right. So, is there any? Do you have any others you want to add? Um, no, but I wonder if it's a appropriate, um, I would appreciate like an overview of uh, how we get items on the agenda um, and how those then get referred to, count. well, we could, yeah, if you could just explain okay. the, the, the general fair enough. process. So often um, we will uh, deal with items sent to us by uh, city council. Uh, yeah. Typically, uh, the um, it, it will fall on um, issues that are outside of uh, city services uh, discussions in the past and maybe Councillor Shear can help a bit here as well. Um, so, like uh, the downtown, there was a report on the downtown businesses and the, the state of our downtown uh, that that was on this committee. When there was the discussion about um, 
uh, cameras downtown. It was uh, community resources that was one of the committees. It was, this was the outreach committee for that. Um, it also went to legislative matters, um, but that came here. Uh, there's been zoning discussions that have come to community resources. Um, in, in fact, the, we, we had some referrals recently and um, that since this committee hadn't had its organizational meeting yet, I didn't feel it was right to send them here. Um, but typically, uh, zoning would come here. Um, other examples, Councilor Shara. Uh, sure. Um, so, I mean, you gave some great examples, and I would say, so you mentioned the, um, the forums that we did around the downtown, the downtown's plural economy. Um, that was actually a committee study request, so we have a vehicle called a committee study request. Um, that is, um, the president of the council, um, can ask a committee, a subcommittee, to kind of do a more in-depth study plan and produce a report. Um, so that's how that came to be. Um, and some of the other examples you gave, it, often things are are referred to us. Um, we, this, we, you, I was the chair of it for four years, so I need to step back. Um, often um, it really, community resources really is the subcommittee where community forums happen. And it just is a good, it just turned out to be a good place for those kind of more robust, in-depth discussions with um, with the public. And so, often in a referral about a topic, it would there were a, request, a request would come that maybe a public forum could be held at community resources in addition to the um, the committee discussing something. And then um, we would work to really try and inform the public of that discussion and try and get as many people here as possible. So generally things have come from the council, but um, occasionally we did have some discussions that were generated from within the committee. And um, yeah, did that answer the question or anything else? Did, uh, didn't we have a King, the, the King Street? Um, oh, zoning. Well, there was the rebuild. Wasn't that in community resources as well? Or was that a separate meeting? Remind me what you're... The King Street rebuild. Ward meeting. That was a ward oh, meeting. Oh, you mean the the Finn? Yeah, yeah. The signal um, at Finn State. Yeah, I don't think that we had. Okay. A meeting but we did have the gas leak discussion. In this. We did have, yeah, we did, and produced a letter for on the gas leak and horse Yeah, that's right. Um. So. Yeah, but zoning, so zoning sometimes, you know, so it is, as you read, it falls under the jurisdiction of the purview, but um, it's sort of up to your discretion. Sometimes things need more discussion, or there's a sense that it would be fruitful to have more community discussion, and you know there's community interest in talking about it. Other times, it's, um, it, you know, there's been a lot of discussion planning, it sort of feels like it's not something that needs to go more in depth, so maybe you choose not to bring it here, and it goes right to legislative matters, it's really sort of up to you what you want to discuss more and what you don't want to discuss, or what you don't feel has to be. But generally, if we sense at council that the the item needs more public dis discussion, this is a good place for that item to go. Yes, depending on the topic, right? But generally, this has been the place where those discussions have happened. Um, but as long as it sort of falls within the purview of right. the committee. Yeah, if it's more of like a public safety sort of situation, city services might be a better than you for it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. Thank You're you. very welcome. Um, should it then clarify things? Okay. And um, and uh, the way um, the the last thing is that the chair makes the agenda. So the chair, you know, whatever, if you want an item on the agenda and have a discussion, speak with me and we'll figure out what we're going to do. All right? All right. Um, so we are now at item number eight, which is adjourned. Do we have a motion to adjourn? Motion to adjourn. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Aye.